Hi there, this is Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School. Uh, back once more to show you some cool little tricks with Ableton Live and sound samples and loops from clickproduce.com. Today uh, I've got this uh, Loop Masters Swedish House uh, sound library and uh, I'm putting together a little tutorial here um, that I wanted to focus in on delays and show you a couple of little tricks with a, the delay device and how you can use delays creatively in your tracks. And um, yeah, this Swedish house library is perfect for this. And um, let's have a quick look at what's in here. Uh, as ever with Loop Masters, very well recorded and uh, delivered sounds. Uh, the sound quality is fantastic on all the synth loops and bits and bobs that we have in here. Got a folder of Rex files as well and sampler patches uh, for all the different types of software that you might be working on, Logic, Cubase, Reason, Ableton, etc. And um, the two standard folders of sounds and effects and WAV loops. In the sounds and effects, we've got uh, bass sounds, drum hits, effects, um, synth lines, vocal lines, vocal percussion. That's quite interesting. Um, so some quite some really really useful sounds to work with there, and uh, we've got WAV loops as well, which is just your kind of standard setup for a sample library really, uh, bass, drums, leads, synth, chords, and uh, vocal loops. So if you like that Swedish house mafia sound, this is the pack to get. Um, like I say, the quality is superb, and uh, if you're looking for a kind of like a quite high energy club sound, um, this is the one to go for. Now I've put a little sketch together here, just using a beat. And I went for this beat because the clap is quite subtle on the two and four of the bar. And we've got some extra little sounds in there that I could maybe break up the audio later into bits and use for fills. I think there's quite a lot I could do to customize this loop. Um, now what I wanted to do to it was add to it a snare sound. And so I loaded one of the, um, in the sounds and effects folder here, we've got the drum hits and claps and snares. We've got a whole bunch of claps and snares in there that are really, really useful. And I've loaded one of those samples just into a simpler device. And uh, let's play that alongside uh, the main beat. And I just wanted to add the extra clap. Sounds like a clap to me, but it's a snare. Just wanted to bring that in. I'm gonna put some delays on that and show you a couple of tricks, how to kind of work that snare into the beat a little bit better. I also loaded up a little audio loop here, just one of the synth lines that come in this pack. I've added a ping pong delay device to the snare track now, and I've set the feedback value and the wet dry value up at 40%, uh, just so we can hear a fair amount of the original signal coming from the snare, and uh, the sound isn't drowned out by the effect of the delay. Um, now, a couple of things we could do here, and firstly, uh, what I quite like to do with uh, delay units is instead of actually sticking with the beat division settings, and the beat divisions just give us the different preset delay times. So at the moment, if I hit play, we're on a beat division of three, and if I set it to the beat division of four, we get one delay every beat. So there I hit stop, and you can hear that the Delay is just playing on each beat of the bar. So if you have it on an, an odd number, like three or five, you'll hear the delays in between the beats. Whereas if you have the delay on two or four or eight, you'll hear the delays on top of the original signal. So a good tip is if you're wanting to get a nice kind of rhythmic effect with your with your delays, go for the uh, for the odd numbered beat division buttons. Now another little trick and something I quite like to do is actually not use the beat division buttons at all. And uh, to to activate this, just turn off the sync function, and the delay unit switches to time mode. Now in time mode, we're working purely in millisecond values here, so all the beat division buttons are grayed out now and we're working in milliseconds. So this is the time between the original signal and the delay. So at the moment it's on one millisecond, which we just hear as a kind of phasing, flanging sound. If I bring that millisecond value up, we can start to hear firstly a stereo widening. And if I bring this up a little bit more, maybe up to about 60 milliseconds, something around there, you can start to hear some very fast, quick delays especially if I bring the feedback value up. 
Now feedback literally sends the signal from the delay device, the affected signal back through the delay. So we end up with a tail. And think about feedback as the amount of time the delays last for after they've started, after they've started working. So if I bring that feedback right down, we get only a very short delay. If I bring the feedback up, we get a nice long tail, a nice long amount of delays. Now another nice little trick here is to work with a filter. So I can take the filter up into the highs or lows. It's actually quite nice when you're working with the time value to have the filter down low like this where you get quick but filtered delays. Now I'm going to add a compressor to this track. And this is quite cool. What I'm going to do here is use the compressor to um, compress the overall signal. And that is going to turn down the loud parts of the clap and the delay. And it's going to turn up the quieter parts. Now what I'm hoping here, what happen here, is that the compressor will in some way amplify the sound of my fast delays. So if I bring the threshold down, you can start to hear the compressor working. We're getting gain reduction, which is this yellow bar here. As soon as the signal passes above the threshold, the compressor is turning down. It's reducing the gain on the signal. All the while, this value here, makeup, and this output volume is turning up the affected signal. So what we get is the loud signals being turned down and the quiet signals being turned up. And that's what compressors do. But in this case, it's amplifying the effect of those delays. If I bring the wet dry up a bit as well. Now my delays are as loud as the original snare. And if I turn up the attack value on the compressor, we'll hear more of the snare because the compressor is taking longer to activate, to kick in. And that's allowing the quick sound of the snare to pass through. So if we turn the compressor off, you'll hear the difference. So we've got a little bit more volume and punch. We can also really hear the effect of the delay a lot more. Let's put the beat back on. For this, I've got to take the solo off. And let's put the synth riff on as well. So I've just got that nice kind of, almost like a, a washing kind of delay on that snare. And I've really made that my own now. Anyway, you can learn loads of cool stuff like this over at pointblankonline.net. And um, I'll be back next week to show you some more tricks with Ableton Live and sounds and samples and loops from clickproduce.com. Peace.